Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm on a long distance ride in the remote mountains in Southern California. Gorgeous day right now. I'm up at about 7,500 feet. Uh, big climb, about 45 miles in the ride, and I'm riding my uh, Commander Mini, which is a 2400 watt hour wheel, not a huge battery. So, actually, right now, um, and I calculated I would get here, and I did get here, but I have I'm at about 104 volts, thereabouts. You're walking it at 100 volts, so I'm just uh, got a few percentage left. So, I need to charge. But I know a secret place in the mountains that has some outlets, and uh, so I'm going to charge. And I'm going to use the Roger charger. I was here not probably maybe 10 months ago, I'm trying to think, uh, or maybe less. I don't know. But I, I have another video. I may have posted up here where I introduced you to the Roger charger. I love this. Love this guy. He has sold uh, I don't know how many, endless amounts of these. <laughs> and thanks again, Roger, for uh, loaning me this. I have his version one charger, which is more a bit more manual. You have to do everything with, uh, well, yeah, I have to adjust the voltage with a little uh, screwdriver, so I'm kind of envious of this guy. Um, but he loaned me this because I wanted to show you, show you this. Uh, the Roger charger is a, is a repurposed uh, power supply, and he, I don't know if he was the first one, but I think Roger's the first one that's really commercialized this for EUC fast charging. It can go from uh, charge any wheel from one volt to 140 volts up to 15 amps, <laughs> which is huge. I'm really going to make, make use of that uh, today. And uh, there have been a lot of copycats of this charger, uh, but I'm still giving full credit to you, Roger. And... Uh, He's, uh, he's provides all the cables you need to charge the modern wheels. I even see some of the copycats copying the cable supply, the cable to the, that he is supplying. Version two, instead of using, having to use a little screwdriver to adjust the voltage in the back, uh, he uh, added a, a knob so you could adjust it easier. And of, of course, the copycats have copied that. But here's an, a new innovation uh, which uh, I think is hugely uh, convenient for this charger. Now he has added a switch that allows you to just switch to three voltages and one custom voltage. So no longer do you have to set the voltage, make sure you have it right. You just click and he has it uh, factory set to 100 volts, 126 volts and 134 volts. I'll be using 134 volts today. And uh, there's a fourth setting that you can uh, adjust it to whatever you want. So if you have a 84 volt wheel, 67 volt wheel, you know, whatever, you can use that setting. And also, if you want, you can customize all four of them with adjusting little uh, potentiometers in the back. I don't, can't see people doing that, but you have that option. The LED in the front is also much brighter. Uh, the older ones were could be a bit harder to uh, read. And when we're riding in the wheels and we have to find some place to charge, quite often we can be in the bright sunlight. So really cool innovations. And um, I'll put a link in the description up here where you can join Roger's Telegram group. There are, uh, I don't know, Roger, how many do you? Might be 600 plus members now in that group. A bunch of uh, uh, fast charger nerds and a lot of happy customers. Uh, and I said before, you, if you trust me, you can trust Roger with your money. I think these are, you can get the exact price, but it's in the, I think 290, you know, we'll just say roughly $300. And with that, you're gonna get all the cables you need for those three voltages I told you about. And uh, Roger is very friendly, amenable guy. And uh, I don't know if he, he, he can certainly set you up with uh, the connectors that you might need for your custom wheel. He might even make them for you at an additional cost. Easy to talk to Roger. 
So let me uh, pull the camera into the wheel and I'll show you me setting this up to charge the uh, Commander Mini. All right, I have my Mini here positioned near the outlet. And when you turn this guy on, this is definitely a loud uh, power supply, but I'm okay with that because I'm generally not using it at home. Uh, but be aware of that if you want to charge in a Starbucks. <laughs> so it's going to get loud, loud when I plug it in. So this is a primary cable that you're going to plug in to the back here. And by the way, these, uh, these bumpers for the charger, I don't believe these come with the charger, but uh, the design is out there. Roger can point you to the 3D file. And if, I'm sure you have friends. If you don't have a 3D printer, you have friends that can print, print these up for you. So these protect it, carry it in a backpack. So here's my primary cable. This is what's going to plug in any uh, 134 volt wheel. If you have other wheels, like I do, you attach this connector, this cable, and uh, I believe, I can't even quite remember. I believe this is for a hundred volt. So you, and dual, so you can plug these in to dual ports. And then uh, here is your 126 volt. And if you need a custom cable for some other wheel, you would just make a cable. Maybe Roger could make one for you or other people could make them for you that would plug into here. Now for 134 volt wheels, you don't really need to use the dual uh, charge ports on the back. These ports are really for if you, if you want to use two stock chargers, I think. So let me plug this in. Wait for it to turn on and get loud. There we go. So I'm going to, uh, there's 134 volts. I'll change the voltage, the, the, the knob in the back. 126, 100, and uh, looks like the other one is set to 62, but you can change that to whatever you want. So I'm going to put this back to 134. I'm going to change the current to, I'm going to just just barely turn it on so you can see 134 volts. Plug this into the Commander Mini. It's at two amps right now. And the Commander Mini, you can actually charge up to 12 amps which is really cool. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. All right, well, as you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to get going. I'm really excited, by the way, that the Commander Mini can charge up 12 amps because the Master, basically, this is a Master kind of shrunk up a little bit. <laughs> you can only charge up to 10 amps. Uh, 13 amps, it, uh, it eventually the BMS will uh, shut off. And if that happens, all you do is disconnect the charger, lower the current a little bit, plug it back in, and the wheel you can start charging again. So at 12 amps at 134 volts, I'm pumping 1,600 watt, hour, watt hours of capacity into that wheel in one hour. In an hour and a half, that wheel is going to be essentially fully charged. That's great. Right now I'm just going to kick back, I brought my lunch up here with me, eat, relaxing, uh, just enjoy nature, and uh, I'll be fully charged and then I'm going to be able to fly down the mountain like a rocket. I had to be a little conservative coming up here. I kept my speeds under 20. 
but I'll just be able to fly down as fast as I want now. So this is about to be a 90 to 100 mile total uh, ride with an hour and a half of charging. So uh, thanks again, Roger, for loaning me that uh, charger. I'm a little envious I don't have to use that little screwdriver, but I still like my version one charger, which is working like a champ. Again, guys, see the description if you want one of these guys. Get it from the original source, Roger. Uh, he's a nice guy. He deserves a business. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope this uh, video was uh, useful. And until next time, safe riding.